I want to start by saying that I think Luke Wallen is a really nice guy. I've never heard one negative word said about him as a person. I remember his rookie season on the Lakers when he was a lost soul amongst a team full of future Hall of Famers. I remember when he developed a highly effective back to the basket game from 10 feet out. I remember a lot of things about him as a player, but I can't even imagine how he's gonna be as a coach. My biggest point of confusion here is I'm not really sure what the Lakers were trying to do. Were they looking for another Steve Kerr who virtually came into the league without any coaching experience and won a championship and best uh, record in the league ever? Um, I think all franchises are looking for that. Everyone is looking for a coach that can do that. But you also had a team that basically could run themselves, that had three guys who could shoot lights out at any moment. The Lakers don't have that. On top of which, I feel like the Lakers need to stop with the legacy hires. Go out and get the best, period. If that happens to be Luke Walton, great, I'll ride the wave. But I don't feel like that's what happened here. I would have personally loved to see a more seasoned coach like a Mark Jackson, a, a Tori Mancina, or even a David Blatt. I think Luke Walton was a name that the front office loved. He was a fan favorite in LA. And I think that it's another name that Laker fans don't have to Google when they hear it. Do I hope the Lakers get it together and win 15 games next year? Absolutely, trust me, I do. I just don't see that happening. That's my point.